January 29th, 2015. Interesting uh, thing, uh, Gordon pulled up, uh, he pulled up a series, there's a HBO series on old timers. Oh, old timers? I guess it's called old timers. It's A-L-H-E-M-I-N-E-R or something like that. Uh, not spelled like old timers, but pronounced like old timers. It was in interesting. It showed different clips. And old timers is a memory, uh, uh, memory degradation uh, of of people when they get older, and not necessarily older. Uh, some people start getting them when they're younger, uh, in their in their forties and fifties. Uh, but it was interesting to see different uh, uh, different clips that showed uh, just with a week one week diagnosis, a one month diagnosis, uh, a year diagnosis, uh, through three years uh, and five years into it. And interesting how these people uh, just uh, you can see it early stages where you're just barely remembering, you know, starting to forget forget stuff, and then uh, how it gets progressively that you just can, are completely uh, uh, bedridden, that you uh, uh, they got you strapped in a bed that you can't really get out. Uh, it's, it's it was kind of uh, sad, sad when you see people. Um, uh, and it shows some of them uh, the clips of their earlier, like this one. One particular that sticks with me is the uh, a guy who used to do a morning kids show. I remember growing up in Oklahoma City there, and there was uh, uh, Ho Ho, Ho Ho the Clown. Uh, it used to be the morning show. I thought there was one another one, uh, Captain Green Jeans or something. Uh, but I remember, I remember Ho Ho the Clown. Uh, I think I even got to see him one time. He came came by somewhere, and, and when my dad worked, uh, got us uh, got us to go see him. But that was uh, that showed showed this character and how he used to be just on top of the world, and and uh, had this morning show that he had for a number of years, and uh, and at this point later in his life that he was just so so out of it. Uh, the only thing that he could think about is said, "Oh, I'm late. I gotta get I gotta get ready to go to the show." And you know, and it was just years, years passed, and, and he's beyond that. And he was still in that mold. That what the only thing that he could remember is that he had to, he had this daily show, and he had to get there. And I remember his wife kind of did the, uh, used the cell phone and called and said, "Well, uh, okay, I'm well, sorry, we'll have to just let him know." And then she let him know that they couldn't make a, something that was wrong in the studio, and they canceled the show for the day. So then he calmed down. And uh, got him back into bed and, and that. But uh, it was just uh, interesting to show different clips. Uh, the, the other one that was interesting was this guy who uh, was kind of an a cappella singer uh, for a number of years and was very popular. And he had kind of a, and he was in a, a nursing nursing home, a retirement home, and he, he was constantly whistling a tune. He always had a tune in his head, uh, whistling, whistling. Uh, and then they took him out of the home and, and went to this uh, reunion where they had the uh, uh, had the guys uh, and, and he kept asking them, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? But once he got there, uh, they drugged him up on stage. And uh, once they started playing the music and singing, he he sung that whole song all the way through, word by word, spot on. Uh, and it was just it just all came back to him just right away. That was just Permanent, permanently there, and then after the show, they took him back to the home, and and uh, even on the way back, he's saying, "Where'd where'd we go? What was that for?" You know, and all that. But it was just interesting to see how the uh, you know, progressive of uh, how brilliant minds can uh, be totally lost, and how they showed uh, uh, how the brain works, and, and which part of it is is not just uh, it just lo loses that connection of. Uh, uh, remembering and not remembering just uh, one of those little pathways that just doesn't connect just doesn't connect the dots uh, but interesting interesting show all timers on HBO if you get a chance uh, uh, look look it up but um, song I'm going to play is uh, a Beatles song uh, I used to listen to a lot of the, uh, the early Beatles and I thought I was going to start uh, this year collecting uh, collecting albums, start start a, a L, LP collection, and one of the first ones I wanted to, wanted to get was the uh, one of these blue uh, 
blue best of. Uh, it was a certain year. Uh, I can barely see it there, but I can't read it out. But uh, it was like a, like a mid 60s to early uh, late 60s, something like that. But it, I think they had just a wide variety of uh, uh, interesting music. I, I really, I really enjoy the Beatles music. And and when I talk to people, it's either either you like them or you don't like them. It's just, there's not like a middle of the middle of the road. Uh, but I I always thought they were uh, talented. When we had uh, uh, that much talent in, in a single group, uh, it shows. Uh, even your independent uh, solo stuff, yeah, it was remarkable. But uh, this song, Day in the Life, and uh, I'm just trying to think something that would that you could, uh, if you could just set, and, and it, it's almost memorizing. Uh, it just tells a story and and uh, just a daily uh, glimpse and and uh, interesting, interesting. I really like it. Day in the Life uh, by the Beatles. January, tonight, 10, 10. 